David Hayes joins us this morning at track work. And David, before we get into the racing, you've been quite active at the sales in the UK looking for a, the next Melbourne Cup winner. Yeah, we, we've we sort of been at the Tattersall sales shopping and we had a bit of luck. We bought a couple of very smart horses and we're hoping that they can measure up for next year's Cups. So uh, we, you just can't ignore the European form in the open class races. They've been dominating this year, so we thought we'd join the party. Flemington for Derby Day this Saturday, starting in the Lexus. It's D-Day for fictional account in terms of gaining a Melbourne Cup start. Yeah, she was brought out here for the Melbourne Cup. Um, I'd forget she went around, didn't go right in Sydney last start, but from barrier one on a good track at Flemington, uh, with a light weight, I think she's a terrific chance, much better than her odds suggest. And what did you make of Gatewood's win in the Geelong Cup? Very good but it wasn't really a staying test. Um, he showed very good acceleration. He's the logical horse to beat in the race. Okay, race three is the wakeful. Two potential chances there, starting with Marma's Choice at 26 to one with Sporting Bet. Yeah, look, Marma's Choice, all the runs this prep have been very good, except for the guineas, her last start. So we've put the blinkers on, we've tied her tongue, and we're um, hoping for a much better run. And she's bred to run 2,000. And Maritib, 35 to 1 chance there with Sporting Bet. Hard to believe she's still a maiden and you're throwing her in the deep end here. Yeah, she's a little bit like our Zora a couple of weeks ago. Um, she's raced consistently all prep, never run a bad race. She's drawn a good barrier for the first time. She's at 2,000 metres, which she's been crying out for. And I think she's at terrific each way odds. OK, race six, the big one, the Derby. Rornak, 100 to 1 chance with Sporting Bet. But look, it's always been his target. What are your expectations with him? Yeah, he wouldn't have been 100 to 1 if he didn't uh, miss uh, the lead-up race. He's a horse that needs to, a mile and a half and his first time at it. A lot of these horses will be unproven at the mile and a half, but I'll guarantee our horse will run the mile and a half right out. Um, he, he's a horse that needs to find his feet and then he uh, will unearth a big finish. I'd rate him a 20 to 1 shot, not a 100 to 1 shot. Okay, now sporting bets are better the week time, $100 free charity bet. Out of those four, where do you think would place the 100? There's a lot of value out there at the moment. Uh, I want to have uh, 50 on my old favourite Maritip, who keeps getting beaten uh, for, the, for the place. And then I would like to have uh, 50 for the place on Rornak at the hundreds. Okay, definite value there. Uh, on Tuesday, Cup Day, let's start with your tip. Assuming that um, fictional account doesn't get a start, who would you select in the Cup? I like Americane. He's had uh, bad luck for 12 months, but that could be the good luck because he's missed the penalties. He proved last year at 58 he could carry it. His Caulfield Cup run was as good, of, as, good as any run he's done in the last 12 months, which tells us he's in great form. Dunedin, a clear danger. And of the locals, I thought the John Hawks, my lucky day, would be very, very competitive. And if fictional account gets in, I'll be tipping her. And also on Cup Day, we have actually got a few potential chances there. Acceptances aren't out, but you're li likely to run a couple there on Cup Day? Yeah, look, it's hard to tip without barriers, but Mab Sand's been set for this race for a long time. OK, and finally, Al Zora had a good final hit out this morning. Yes, look, she's our best chance uh, in a Group 1. Uh, she's trained on and she's been working brilliantly up here. She'll head down to Flemington to finish her preparation off over the next few days and hopefully she'll draw a good barrier in the Oaks and give us a, a good sight. Okay, best of luck David. Thank you.